Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host, Richard Tiemann, and this is your Game of the Week preview for the final week of the 2021 CIF season. That's right, 13 down and one more to go. Who would have thought it's been such a bitter, sweet moment here because after not having a season at all in 2020, we're nearing the finish line for 2021 and getting ready to crown a new champion. So let it soak in, fans. We're finally here. But before we crown a champion, we do have to get through one more week of the regular season. And before we talk about that, let's go ahead and recap the action from week number 13, which started off with the Sioux City Bandits visiting the Salina Liberty. Final score from Salina, the Liberty 37, the Bandits 13. With that win, the Liberty clinched the number one seed and home field advantage throughout the 2021 postseason. Then the other game from Saturday night, we had the Omaha Beef hosting the Dodge City Law, both still fighting for playoff positioning. Your final score from the Slaughterhouse, The Beef 52, the Law 36, that win for the Beef clinches the number two seed and at the very least one home playoff game which will take place July 9th at Ralston Arena. Then finally, Monday Night Football, your game of the week featuring the Wyoming Mustangs and the Wichita Force. Your final score from Wichita, the Mustangs 14 and the Force 54. Now, unfortunately, the loss does eliminate Wyoming from postseason contention. However, the win for Wichita doesn't guarantee or clinch them anything, which leads us to our Game of the Week preview, which for the final week of the regular season is all of them. All three games are our Game of the Week because of the six teams in the league, three of them still have something to play for, and none of those three play each other. So before we get into the actual matchups, Let's run down the playoff scenarios for each of those three teams, starting with the Sioux City Bandits. Taking it from the top, the Sioux City Bandits sit at 4-5 and five for in-league competition. A win clinches the number three seed or a Wichita Force loss. So they are in the postseason regardless. However, if they want the number three seed, they will have to win against the Omaha Beef or hope that the Force lose to the Salina Liberty. Next up, we have the Wichita Force. At 4-5 and five also, they will clinch a postseason berth with a win or a Dodge City loss. Now, they can clinch the number 3 seed with a win and a Sioux City Bandits loss. That's right, they could be number 3 or number 4. But the big picture for Wichita is you win and you're in. Which brings us to the Dodge City loss. Sitting at 3-6, and six, they need to win and the force to lose in order to clinch. The reason this is, is because there is no three-way tiebreaker scenario, despite the fact that the Bandits, the Force, and the Law could all finish at 4-6. and six. Why is there no three-way tiebreaker scenario? Because it doesn't apply for this situation, since the Sioux City Bandits and the Dodge City Law did not play each other during the regular season. So therefore, it moves to the next criteria on the tie-breaking scenario, which happens to be strength of schedule. So, we have no three-way tiebreaker, but Dodge City, they can't get the number three seed. They can only hope to clinch a playoff berth with the number four seed, and that is with a win and a Wichita Force loss. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these matchups we have coming up this weekend, starting on Saturday with the third and final matchup of the regular season for the I-29 rivalry featuring the Omaha Beef and the Sioux City Bandits. Kickoff for this one is at 7.05 p.m. at the Tyson Event Center. Now, the Sioux City Bandits, with a win, can clinch the number three seed, so they are playing for something at this point. However, the irony in that would be that if they clinch the number three seed, they would turn around and play Omaha again on July 9th, this time, though, in Omaha. Omaha, not necessarily a meaningless game because they could technically help in determining who their opponent is for that July 9th game, especially with a win over the Bandits. So both teams will take their own approach to this matchup, but either way, it is the I-29 rivalry, and it should make for another great chapter in this storied rivalry. The next matchup we have featured tomorrow is the Salina Liberty visiting Wichita to take on the Force, and of course, Salina 
has clinched everything they need to for the postseason. It's Wichita that is playing for their postseason lives. A win, and they're in. Easier said than done. This one, I think, is a sleeper for what could be a really great game, especially all things considered. How will Coach Haran O'Neill approach this game, knowing that their postseason fate has already been determined as far as the number one seed and hosting all of their remaining postseason games? That's the big mystery, but Wichita is going to come out guns a-blazing because they know that they need to win this one in order to see a tomorrow. Kickoff for that one, again, 7.05 in Wichita, Kansas. That brings us to our third and final matchup of the 2021 regular season, also taking place tomorrow, June 26th, when the Wyoming Mustangs visit the Dodge City Law. Now, one of the few wins that Wyoming got this season was when they went on the road the first time to take on Dodge City, after Dodge City had just visited Wyoming to get a win over the Mustangs in Gillette. This one should be an interesting one also because the Mustangs are playing for pride at this point and they know that they can also play the role of spoiler. Who doesn't love a good spoiler? Dodge City will need to take care of priority number one and that's Dodge City by getting one in the win column and then hoping for a little help from the Salina Liberty. So this one also a sleeper pick to be a really great game. Well, those are the three matchups for our final week of the regular season. And once again, if you cannot attend any of these games, make sure that you catch them live on the CIF Network channel on YouTube.com. I thank you all for tuning in to these Game of the Week previews all season long here on Inside the CIF. What will we have in store for the postseason? You'll just have to wait and see. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF.